To prove to Caesar the greatness of the Egyptians, Cleopatra promises to build for him a magnificent palace in Alexandria in just three months. To fulfill this promise, she chooses an unknown and not very successful architect, Nominus Novus. This is because, the other architects were already busy, and the court architect Amambophus is, a classicist and not used to architectural innovations. Amambophus resents this statement and promises to take revenge on Nomen Novus by any means necessary to ensure that the palace is not built on time. Nomen Novus believes that it is impossible to build a palace in such a short time by ordinary means, so he travels north to Gaul and asks for help from his father's old friend, the wizard druid Panoramicus, whom his father had told him about in his childhood. When he arrives in Gaul, he asks the druid to sell him a magic potion, but he flatly refuses. Nomen Novus tries to convince the druid that building a palace is his life's work, if he fails, he will throw it to the crocodiles to eat. The Druids then set off for Egypt with Asterix and Obelix. On their way to Alexandria, the heroes accidentally stumble upon a pirate ship led by their leader, the infamous Redbeard. However, when the pirates see Asterix and Obelix, whom they met on the high seas, they sink their ship in fear. Namanavis arrives in Egypt and introduces Cleopatra to the Gauls. Cleopatra promises to give them gold if they manage to build a palace, if not, she and Namanavis will feed them to crocodiles. Meanwhile, Amambophus, who wants to stop the construction work, incites the workers to revolt and reminds them of the terrible conditions under which they work. Panoramix, however, takes control of the situation. Panoramix creates a magic potion and forces all the workers to drink it. As a result, the workers gain tremendous physical strength and their work is greatly accelerated. However, Amambophus does not recognize the success of his rivals and orders his ruthless servant Nexus to stop the delivery of the building stone coming down the Nile from the south. After traveling south, Nexus bribes the carrier to throw all the stones into the Nile. When he arrives at the construction site, he lies that he has run out of stones, but Obelix quickly forces him to tell the truth using his special interrogation techniques. Asterix, Obelix, Panoramix, and Numnavis assistant Otis then head south on their own to get the stones. On the way, Numnavis gives Asterix a box with amulets that will bring him luck and protect him from the evil eye. Along the way, the heroes encounter various incidents and adventures, and their enemies weave plots to prevent them from building a palace. First, Obelix, passing by the Great Pyramid of Giza, accidentally breaks the nose of the Great Sphinx and hides it under a statue, which is found by Nexus, who gives them a tour of the pyramid and locks them in a room. The companions manage to get out of this room and escape from the pyramid with the help of their dog Ideafix. As they load up with rocks and try to return home, Obelix decides that they are two slow swimmers and jumps into the river himself, grabbing the rope and dragging the entire row of boats behind him. Here they encounter the Redbeard pirates again, but Obelix crashes into their ship at full speed. On their return, construction resumed with even greater vigor, and Nomen Novus must have built forty palaces, which was unusual for the time. So Amambophus made a deal with Caesar, he would get rid of the Gauls, and in return he would commission Caesar to build, and if Amambophus completed it in two months, Caesar would win the bet and Cleopatra would be disgraced. Amambophus then sends Cleopatra a poisoned pie on behalf of Asterix. Obelix and Panoramix After eating a bite, Cleopatra's tasters are poisoned, and Cleopatra, deciding that the Gauls want to kill her, arrests and imprisons them. However, when the companions leave the prison, they calmly eat the poisoned cake after drinking the antidote prepared by Panoramix, showing Cleopatra that it is not poisoned. Realizing that Amambophus has failed, and not wanting to lose the bet, Caesar sends a spy to the construction site, who returns and tells him that the secret to the worker's success is a magic potion. Caesar decides to destroy the unfinished palace. Caesar's centurion Caius Soprius orders Asterix, Obelix, and Panoramicus to leave the construction site. When they refuse, the legionary troops attack the palace, but Asterix and Obelix easily defeat them. Caius Sopris, however, does not give up and continues to storm the palace. 
but this time the palace is bombarded by countless catapults. Realizing that only Cleopatra can stop Caesar, the companions write her a letter, and later, after taking a magic potion, Asterix and Ideafix travel to Cleopatra's palace. When they break the Roman blockade, they accidentally drop the flask containing the potion, but Amambophis finds it and drinks the rest of the potion, gaining magical power. Meanwhile, Numnibus, who also drinks the potion, gains magical power. The fight with Amambophis continues. With such comical effects as Jackie Chan-style kung fu moves, cartoon-style fighting, and rock-paper-scissors elements, but in the end Numnibus still manages to kick Amambophis hard into the wall and emerge victorious, meanwhile, Asterix suddenly runs out of potions along the way, but he unexpectedly finds a merchant camp from which he steals a chariot and returns, fighting off his pursuers to deliver a letter to Cleopatra. Angered by Caesar's actions, Cleopatra goes to the scene of the attack and orders Caesar to stop the outrages and make amends. Caesar is forced to comply. Construction continues. Eventually the palace is completed on time. Caesar recognizes the greatness of the Egyptians, Cleopatra keeps her promise and pours money into Namanavis, she gives Panoramics a precious manuscript from the Library of Alexandria, a sumptuous banquet is held, and Obelix, hungry throughout the film, finally gets a full meal.